So I'm going to talk about some products that we sell in the shop, not just that I use, but local match anglers um, sort of swear by and essential items, if you like, for fishing the drains. Um, a lot of anglers sort of have their own favourite mixes of ground bait and different bits and bobs, but I keep it fairly simple. Um, you've got the 20 foot, which is a completely different mix to the rest of the drains. So for the 20 foot, you want a sticky, heavy mix that's going to get down and carry as much bait as you can to the bottom. So the old faithful of Turbo and Bowland Black Roach, which you can see there. Black Roach, it's, it's reasonably priced. It's um, sticky, it smells nice. It does the job, basically. And it's eight quid for three kilos. So when the 20 foot, when you're chucking a lot of bait in, that's the perfect mix for me. Um, the other thing, I do sometimes use, if I want to get even more bait into my ground bait, is the Census Colics, which just helps it make it even stickier. So like if on the bank, if it is getting a bit, well, you want more bait in your peg or the flow's increasing, just sprinkle some Colics on and it just, it just makes your mix a little bit versatile. Same really, coming on to the mixes for sort of March, Benick, Factory Bank. You want a standard sort of canal mix, so canal black, now fine mature, very good mixes, and then obviously the Van der Nine G5. If I do want to again put some more loose particles in, just put a bit of colics in, and that just stickies it up. Um, one thing I do use, and I'm quite sort of an advocate for it, is the Census Arrow mix. Um, I always mix my ground baits the night before, and just add sort of half a bottle of this to your to your water that you're mixing up. And it just deadens the mix down and I just I don't know, it just gives me confidence really. It's it's not essential but I feel it just puts a few more fish in the net. Um so that's sort of ground bait wise. Um Benick March in some of the pegs when it goes clear, sometimes you want to just chuck a little waggler to the far bank when the fish sort of back away from you. Um Graham Well, I'm a local angler. Most ang most anglers will probably know Graham, he does some brilliant little wagglers, G Wags from 2BB up to 4BB. I mean, the four BBs would probably be good on the 20 foot um, if you were chucking there. Not so much that it hasn't been working this year, but it has done in over the years. But I tend to go for the two and a half BB um, for Benick and March, because you're sort of more flicking it out rather than casting it. And obviously we're in such light wagglers, you need light lines. And Maxima, been around for years. It does what it says on the tin. It's, I use either two pound or a pound and a half with sort of an 08 hook length and it sinks. That is the key thing with Maxima on these drains, it skims, you've got a horrible wind on it some days and you can either use line sink on that or washing up liquid and a bit of water and it just gets under that skim and fishes so much better. So I, some anglers fish sort of your, your high tech lines like 013 power line people have used, but it doesn't last very long. This can stay on your reel. You can put it in your ready rod bag, get it out the next time and you know it's gonna be perfect. Um, the other thing is catapults. It's every time you ship out, you've always get pick your catapult and feed something, whether it's three squats, six maggots or whatever. So a decent catapult setup is essential for the drains. I tend to shorten mine down just so it, it keeps it a little bit tighter. But these two are the main two. I mean, some days it's really windy or if you're on an absolute pile and you want to get some bait in your peg, you want the uh, waggler range one that it is now and uh, give it the big one. So catapults are uh, essential. Make sure you've got plenty in case they break. Um, moving on to elastics. So the 20 foot, like we said earlier, is a little bit different. I tend to use a fairly soft elastic boot, but for a shorter amount of my pole. Um, so I tend to go for the Preston Hollow 7. Um, people might think that's a bit, a bit odd, but it's very soft, but powers up quite quick for a short section. Cole McDo one very similar, Maver as well. And just through probably that much of your pole, when you strike, you've got initially soft, but when it comes to swinging a little bit bigger fish in, everything just comes down to hand and it's nice and smooth. Um, so down the middle really on um, March, factory bank, if you're on them better stamp fish, tried and tested original Preston 4 and 5, 4 was out of stock for quite a while but it's ready available now. Um, through sort of two sections, set soft, is perfect. 
The other elastics I use for sort of fishing more across is the midi one to two. If I'm fishing re in really shallow water, I tend to go for that. It's just really soft and you can strike and chip back and the fish doesn't break the surface, which is quite essential when it goes clear. And then the three to four, which I tend to use at March because the fish are generally a little bit bigger stamp. So that's another key item. Moving on to hooks. So 20 foot hooks, you're catching a lot of fish, you're being aggressive. Um, I tend to go for the Hayabusa and I tend to go for the standard nickel just because they stay sharp. Um, they're a nice size, a 19 is a good size. You can even get away with a 16. Some people fish 14s, but I've never drawn that well to find that out whether they work or not. Um, so those are the 20 foot hooks. March, Factory Bank and Bennett, you want a, a finer hook because you're probably going to be using squats, pinkies. Um, the Census 3210 is a very popular pattern along with the Tubatini Series 4. They're similar to the old 311s, they're like a bronze colour, they're not too shiny. They're ideal for pinkies and squats. So they're what a lot of the anglers locally use um, around here. Hook length wise, um, Stream is my best selling hook length line in the shop. It's, it's, it, does, it doesn't tend to spin up, which when you're fishing for lots of numbers of fish, you don't want to be getting in tangles and stuff. Some people use fluorocarbon, which I do sell quite a lot of the reef fluorocarbon or the uh, Preston one as well. But Stream is just brilliant. It's strong, supple, it ties up really nice. And I think if you asked any guy that ties hook lengths, they'll probably say that this does tie up the best. Um, for those of you that, uh, you know, you, you're not, you not got the time to spend on tying hook lengths and stuff, these new Guru ready-made pole specials, perfect for the job. Um, they might be a little bit long for your bagging fishing, but just shorten them down and they'll be absolutely perfect. So that's sort of a, a few key items I sell quite a lot of in the shop and um, normally have them in stock and um, hopefully see you in the shop.